Aquarius, it's Elle here to do your next 72-hour energy reading. Thank you for being here with me. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It is much appreciated. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. So Aquarius, let's get into this. Thank you, Lord God, for blessing the Aquarius with a clear, concise message from you. Okay, so Aquarius, um, we have uh, expect powerful change, the new moon eclipse, all right? And then we have um, big happy changes. I mean, this reading is amazing, Aquarius. Will it focus? Will it not? Okay, big happy changes. And then we have leaving. You can see that, yeah. So Aquarius, with the new moon, um, the new moon eclipse, it looks like Spirit had to redirect you, had to put you back on the path that you needed to be on. Something knocked you off your path here, or someone. Something you were putting too much focus in, too much energy, time, effort into. Um, you had far-reaching expectation for this person, place, or thing, whether it was a job or a person or it was a group of people. Um, they're putting you back on your path here. Um, spirit, it's almost as if you had blockage. They couldn't speak to you. They couldn't talk to you. They couldn't really guide you because you were going on, you know, on um, another path. Maybe even guided by your ego and not being guided by spirit. So now it says that expect powerful change because um, this is a yes card. It actually says yes a thousand times. So the answer is yes a thousand times over. Um, do know that whatever is happening for you right now is happening for your highest good. You getting back on your path. It doesn't mean that for the duration of your life it's going to be smooth sailing. There could be some twists and turns, some bumps, but you're on the right path here. So do know that you're guided and you're protected here. Um, you just have to be ready to um, let go of the past and walk away from the past. And know that you have nothing to fear. Um, this this time in your life will be a big turning point. For some of you, it's going to be to branch out there, jump out there and start your own business. Um, to contact a person you haven't talked to. To mend relationships, whether they're platonic, familiar, romantic, whatever business. Um, some of you are going to actually do something. You're putting yourself out there also. Understand that a new portal is opening up for you, Aquarius, with this expect powerful change, new moon eclipse. There's some new energy. You could be seeing 11-11 a lot. If not, you just feel like something good, something great is coming. You just um, you feel like uh, big happy changes are here for you. Okay, big happy changes. Once again, uh, positive changes are coming in for you and for your life. Once again, this is this could be you entering a new relationship, um, new home, new city, moving. Um, you're just embr embracing exciting um, new events. Also, you're just jumping in head first because this talks about leaps of faith also. Um, and in order to have these big happy changes, you have to take some leap of faith. Um, also, it talks about whatever you're doing, it can seem frightening or there's a, a bit of fear, but it says work through your fears, pass, you know, move through it, work with it, under, confront it face and head on. If you're fearing something, start to ask yourself the questions, why? what for what am i fearing where is it stemming from so that you can move forward and you trust that these opportunities um that are before you they're meant to bring you happiness and it's also along well it's a part of your path here okay um again release your fears and just follow your heart and it seems like some of you are doing that some of you you were fearing actually coming out of something coming out of a relationship a job going into something new because you you're the sign of um i know or i think and, and um definitely i know um and you just don't know where this is going to land you you aren't sure it is not rest assured here or there's no guarantee so it, it brings about that level of fear 
Um, so you, you have to kind of uh, let that subside and you have to kind of work with that. You don't know where you're going. You don't know where it's going to um, end. You know what your end game is and what you want it to be, but you just don't know how you're going to get there. Okay. Then we have leaving. Some of you, you know that it's time. It has already been time. You have already left a toxic stuff situation behind. Um, you understand that um, you've done your best here. You tried to heal some circumstances, some conditions within maybe a job setting or with people, places. You know, you try to heal. But right now, it's just, it, it's intolerable and it's no longer healthy for you. It's no longer working for you. It's working against you. So, um, and it brought up the, it brought up insecurity and confusion. Um, but you can uh, know that um, right now with you leaving and you leaving that behind, you're on the right path. Um, and everything is going to work out best for you. Um, you don't, and even if you have not left yet, you don't have to make your departure known and loud and, you know, just over the top. You could just leave a situation gradually, okay? You can transition out of that. Um, you don't have to um, make others feel uncomfortable, insecure, or fearful like you did, even though they'll probably get those feelings, but you don't have to go out of your way to kind of incite those feelings in that person. You could just, um, it's like the Eight of Cups. The Eight of Cups talks about finishing up and then leaving. A big emotional decision to actually leave something or someone behind, says the Eight of Cups. And it seems like you're doing that now. Um, this card also can talk about letting go of fear. Fear is coming up again. Um, releasing an addiction and exercising. Getting out there, moving your body, starting something new. Some of you were addicted to, are addicted to some things that are just not healthy for you. If it's something you do too much, there's no balance in it, then it's an addiction. Just tackle it head on and start to, you know, gradually release it, okay? Um, also, some of you are traveling. And a family member could be leaving your home or you're the family member leaving a home setting. Um, this change, these big happy changes, this you leaving this a powerful, this a powerful new moon eclipse is um, all to set you on the right path here because some of you needed course correction. You needed redirection. You let something that someone else or something or someone else kind of take hold of you. You kind of let your dreams, your wishes, your hopes kind of subside. And you were putting all of your eggs into this basket that was a person, place, or thing. And it was not yielding you the same return or no return at all. It was unfulfilled or unrealized potential here. And it, that's all it was. And that was all it was going to be. And you were hanging on and clinging on to that. So Aquarius... For the next 72 hours, please expect the song that channeled to me off camera when I was shuffling these cards was um, Patti LaBelle, If Only You Knew. You know, if only you knew. So something is um, really uh, going to break for you. There's a breakthrough, breakthrough energy. I hope that this reading resonates for every Aquarius, wherever your Aquarius placement is in your chart. I hope it resonates for you because there's going to be some massive breakthrough. And if you're looking to have breakthrough, especially with this new moon eclipse card coming up for you, you can have that. Um, you can engage in my new moon manifestation session. You can um, learn how to do that with the link below. You can come manifest new love, new streams of income, banish fear, anxiety, uh, people, places, things, situations. Get in on this energy so that you can have all of this happen for you, Aquarius. Um, thank you for being here. All links are below if you want to get your own personal reading. If you want to get in on the New Moon Manifestation, the link is below. If you want to donate to the channel because you took something from the reading, go ahead and uh, get in on that also. Or you can go ahead and uh, click the link, buy me a coffee if you want to donate. And if you have a question or two, you can text your question to the number below. Thank you, Aquarius. Many blessings to you. Take care.